Season 5. It's here, boys. Let's go! What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Season 5 is coming this Thursday to Creative Destruction. It's been a long time coming. A lot of people are looking forward to it. I've read over the patch notes and it looks incredible. So, if you are not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button and let's get into the video. Yeah, boy! <laughs> So here we go guys, welcome to the update that is going to be coming out this Thursday in Creative Destruction which is Season 5. Oh yes, February 28th, 2019, we got Season 5 boys, and there's a lot to go over so this is going to be a long video so I'm just going to read everything through and we're going to see exactly what it has to offer. So, starting with number 1, Supreme Supplies are ready to rock your world, new Supreme Supplies are on their way, grab an elegant carnival gift box containing an elegant, elegant carnival set, a tropical grey set, a legendary firearm skin, a rockin' soul, a legendary, another legend, legendary firearm skin, a flaming flare carnival. I mean, all of this, guys. Basically, there's, there's just going to be a lot of new skins coming out in Season 5, okay? Um, so look out for that. Uh, feel the carnival fever. From after the 28th of February and just before the March 14th maintenance, the carnival event will bring the spirit of Samba to create destruction. It includes victory masks, carnival fashion items. So it's going to be another sort of event where you can earn um, sort of in-game items, guys. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, season 4 Gold Rush theme will come to an end. Um, and it says after that comes to an end, the secrets of Season 5 Apocalypse theme will be revealed. The Mecha Massacre rages on in the frozen north. Explorers, raise your weapons and defend Aurora Valley to the bitter end. So as you notice the map, guys, the map is actually slightly changing. There's The lake is half frozen, so... I think that's got to be something to do with this apocalypse theme now. Apocalypse means obviously like the end of the world. So I think there's going to be a lot of new changes in the map. They're going to add, I've already know they're going to add new areas, etc. So the map's going to look a lot better. And as well, guys, like I said, the new map um, is going from 4.9 gig down to 1.9 gig. So all of you crappy devices that can't run the game on a new classic map, that's going to be updated. So most of the game is going to be played on a new classic map now. Limited time season pass experience discounts. So they've, they've added 50% off of the um, of the discount um, for the flex pass. Obviously because the flex pass is coming to an end. So it might be a good idea to buy that now guys. Because usually when a new season comes out, your old flex pass, you can use however many extra points you've gained in your old flex pass on your new flex pass. So maybe buy that. Um, now here's quite interesting. The all new hunting grounds battlefield is on its way. In the hunting grounds, explorers are divided into hunters and survivors in this deadly game of cat and mouse. Who is the hunter and who is the prey? So the hunting grounds will be available on all the servers from 28th of February until March 21st. Gather energy crystals in the hunting ground to level up. Leveling up will enhance your character's stats and weapon quality. So I mean, it seems as though they're adding like an MMORPG sort of expansion to it. I haven't got a clue what that is, a hunting ground. You, guys, you're going to have to let me know in the comments exactly what you think about that, but the hunting grounds will be available. So maybe they're adding um, maybe, maybe they're adding bots as well, as in like uh, PvE, like Players Against Evolution, maybe. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see what that is, but I haven't got a clue what that is, guys. I'd love to tell you what it is, but I haven't got a clue. Um, another new gadget is coming out. The Airstrike Remote is landing. Look out below, you can use the airstrike remote to scan for enemies in your immediate vicinity one time. Ten seconds after locking onto a position, a deadly missile strike will attack the target's location. So instead of the, the old airstrike remote, is it just an updated one or is it a new gadget? I really don't know, but it sounds good whatever it is. Now, this sounds OP. I don't know if this is a good idea at them adding this or not, but we're just going to have to wait and see. The all-new item Machine Gun Turret is here. Sit back and prepare for mayhem. 
Place your machine gun turret on the ground and it will lock onto enemy targets in range. The range is 100 meters and it does 6 damage per, uh, per hit. But as it's a machine gun, it could be six, a lot of 6 damages like really quickly. But the attack interval is five zero point five seconds. Just going to be um, yeah. So that's 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 going to be interesting to see exactly what that is. Do you have to? Can you place it on the floor anywhere you like? Can you? Do you have to place it on a mat? I don't know. That I mean, it's, it sounds good, but we're gonna have to wait and see exactly how powerful that's gonna be. Because imagine if you're shooting someone and a, and a turret is shooting someone. What if you put two turrets out? Do they both aim on the same player, or do they swap players? I don't know. We're gonna have to wait and see about that. But that sounds really good. Um, now this is what I wanted, guys. This is what I actually said to the developers, and they've actually changed it for me. So they've adjusted the time bomb's explosion countdown from 30 seconds to 15 seconds. So that's going to be a lot quicker. Like I said, 30 seconds took way too long. It's so easy to get out of that circle of the time bomb within 30 seconds. So 15 seconds, I think, is perfect. Could have maybe done with 10 seconds, but there we go. Uh, gas bombs, magnetic shields, time bombs, and ejection seats can now be found on the ground and in chests. That's cool. You don't have to just craft them. Um, they've optimized the napalm bomb special effects display to more accurately match the damage radius. So they've increased the radius on that. So that's pretty cool. Um... They've adjusted the Season's XP icon. They've added a quick equip function for outfits in the depot. You can now quickly equip your highest quality outfits. So that's I think that's going to automatically pick whatever your highest quality items are. So you can be at the top of the pedestal at the beginning of each match. Uh, they fix an issue where errors would often occur when zooming in on a map to identify locations. They fix an issue where you would automatically be sent to the daily discount interface after purchasing a weekly sale Fortune Diamond Packs. The hammer dialogue function will now be temporarily hidden on the battle results screen after commending your teammates. Um, record system optimizations. You can only auto record seven videos now, it seems. Each video will automatically be deleted after seven days. Players can save up to seven videos. The oldest video will be automatically deleted when the limit is reached. So there's your replays, guys. So yeah, that is season five. Now, it doesn't sound amazing in the patch notes but you wait for it there's going to be brand new skins coming out like i said you've got all those new gadgets it's going to be absolutely amazing i can't wait to see what it's all about season five guys a new hype new leaderboards to grind so let me know in the comments what you think about all those if you've got any questions just let me know and i'll comment back and uh yeah again don't forget to subscribe as per usual and um yeah let me know what you think yeah boy Yeah.